Are you looking to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot with external data systems? Microsoft Graph Connectors allow us to ingest external data with the added power of the semantic index to extend the organizational knowledge of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Hi, my name is Brian T. Jacket, member of the Microsoft Graph team. In this video, we'll show you an overview of Microsoft Graph Connectors and how they fit into the Copilot sensibility story. We'll also show you some live demos so you can actually see this in action. Microsoft Graph Connectors allow us to ingest external data, whether that be structured data or unstructured. In case of unstructured data, this might be files from other systems, might be knowledge base articles, wiki pages, or other text rich information coming from third-party SaaS services. Microsoft Graph Connectors will bring in a read-only copy of the data that gets pre-indexed and we actually apply the power of semantic index to help us to understand more about that information. This data is brought into the same security compliance boundaries as the rest of the Microsoft 365 data. So that includes things like SharePoint Online, Exchange, as well as Teams. So your data is able to show up alongside the other information that you already have access to inside of your tenant. Let's take a look at some of the examples here, looking at our Microsoft 365 Copilot with Graph Connectors. In this first scenario, we open Microsoft 365 Chat in Teams, and that's a question that should have an answer in our knowledge base system. How can I find the MAC address of my Ethernet? On the back end, Copilot's actually going to go across a number of different data sources for this, including things like SharePoint Online, in terms of our Teams chats, Exchange emails, as well as some of our external data systems, in this case, with Graph Connectors going to ServiceNow knowledge base articles. As you can see, we actually had a return on our results for this. In this case, if I take a look at the reference for this, notice that the title for this actually matches very closely to the prompt that I passed in. This is an example of doing lexical search or keyword queries against those different data systems. And if I expand this out, I can see that there's some more information in here, or I can even click on the title for this to actually type a deep link actually back to the system inside of ServiceNow. Heading back over to M365 chat, we'll take a look at our next example on here. In this case, we're going to do a simple sample using against a GitHub repo that has an issues list. We'll start with a simple query, something like show me issues with OneDrive. Notice in this case that I did not have to specify GitHub in the actual prompt that I'm passing back. The idea here is that we're able to pull against the semantic index, which actually understands the intent of my query for this, knowing that issues are being stored inside of GitHub. And here we go, we've got a match coming back from our GitHub repository. You can see that I found a couple of items that are being pulled back from that issues list. And for each one of these items, I additionally have those different references out there to them. If I expand out my bottom four references, notice here again, these are my GitHub issues. You can expand any one of these and I can see more information, or I can click into this to actually go and see the information directly inside the source system. Lastly, let's use the power of generative AI to draft an email to some of my colleagues, and where I want to be able to dig a little bit deeper into some of the issues that are being presented with additional suggestions for them. So I happen to have a query on here, which I'm going to paste in. Draft me an email of bulleted listed items for those OneDrive issues, but I want to further filter this for only ones that have been modified by my colleague Jason. Also, let's suggest some next steps for the content review team on how they can close those items out. Go ahead and pass this in as our prompt for it. And again, Copilot's going to go against that backend system for this for GitHub, and we want to be able to retrieve those items with just some additional filters on it. Note that when it is coming back with the response for this, it's going to be in that email format that I had suggested to it. As well, we have links into those items. You see one and two items on here. If I expand out the references, again, these are the two that have been modified by Jason. Uh, but we also have some suggestions on there about how the review team can actually close these items out, included in that email. As you can see, Microsoft 365 Copilot can integrate with multiple different sets of different systems in the back end with graph connectors, thus increasing your productivity and saving you valuable time with daily and weekly tasks. Finally, let's take a look at the code that was actually used to create this sample GitHub Graph Connector. We have a GitHub repo that's already been published out there, publicly available for you to actually go and take a look at those different files that are out there for creating your Graph Connector. And we can also take a look inside of this inside of Visual Studio Code. Here, we've got our main program for this. Note that we're gonna use a number of different Microsoft Graph SDKs to be able to help us with the typing for this. Take a look over at our interactives menu on here. You can see that this will be a console application that will prompt the user for things like creating that connection, registering the schema, pushing items, and so forth. We also have an app settings on here that can help you with being able to specify what are the client ID and secret being used for the authentication with this, as well as the tenant, the GitHub repo, and more information. Thank you again for joining me to learn about bringing external data into Microsoft 365 Copilot via Microsoft Graph Connectors. Thank you and have an amazing day.